Hello, today I'm going to show you custom fields in Microsoft Project for the web. First of all, you are familiar that we have some predefined fields in Microsoft Project for the web, but what if I need my own? I can go just to add column and here is add new field. You will see that we have various types of new fields, so let, let me explain them one by one. Let's say, first of all, that I need task description. So I need a description for each and every task. I will obviously use text field for that, and I will call it task description. When I hit create, I can put here whatever I want. Description of task one. or this task must be done on time, etc., etc. Okay, now let's say that since I have start and finish, maybe some of those tasks are going to be late. But what if I have critical deadline? So it means it must be finished uh, before or on that critical deadline. Ju this is just an example. So I'm going to use new field, and of course I'm going to use date. So I will say critical deadline. Okay, I will create, and now let me here. When I go to critical deadline, I can here pick date which I want. So here, it is 26th of uh, July, but let's say that critical deadline is uh, Friday 30th of July. So if I am going to be late, I should not be uh, uh, go beyond this date. Okay, this is the example of date custom field, date type. Now, let us let assume that I want some costs. Okay, I will say that this can be task cost, I will have, of course, number, and I will say task cost. And I can here choose, do I want a roll up? Do I want a maximum value on my summary task? Minimum value, sum, sum of a, or average. Let's say, for this obviously is, they are, that I want a sum. I will say I want to sum, and I will create. And when I go here, task cost, and I will say this is 100, and this is 200, you will see, and this is 300, this is zero, this is 400, this is 1,000. You will see that since I uh, choose that I want to sum, I will have here some of these, uh, of all those values of task cost. Now, and let's say that I want to uh, know if some task should be reviewed reviewed by, by project manager before it is considered done. So let's say the resources are going to work on that task, but we need to be 100% that someone approved that. So some tasks should be approved by project manager and some some of them not. So I'm going to create new field and I will say, oh, I need yes, no, okay? And I will say my task field should be approved by PM, okay? So I can say this one is yes, this one is no, this one is yes, etc., etc. And last but not least, choice. Let's uh, say that I have some choices, whatever it can be. It will be choice uh, which team should work on it. So let's say which team is going to work on task. And let's say that I have US team, then I have, 
let's say Germany team and don't forget about my country Croatia team I can I have here have three choices I can add let's say fourth choice let's say that it will be a Canada team and I will create now I can go here and I can simply choose which team should work on which task. Okay, what if I made a mistake? What if I say, okay, this task description is something which should be, let's say, task description, it should be renamed. I can go to edit once again here, edit, and I can say task description. I can say brief task descript. Description, sorry, description. It was type, typo. Or I don't need brief task description. Why? Because I have notes. What are notes? You will find out in my next uh, some of my next videos. So I don't need this uh, this uh, uh, custom field. Edit, and I will say delete field. Okay. It says if you delete this custom field, everything will be deleted. Okay. It's gone. Let's say that I need I need uh, I have a new team. And I want not only U.S. team, Germany team, Croatia team, Canada team, but I need team Fran France team. Okay, the same thing. Add it, add a choice, and France team. Update. That's it. Let's go. Oh, France team is here. Okay, that's all. But... Let's say that I leave my project now, sorry, my project here, okay, that I leave it, and I go once again to my project start page, and I want to create another project, and I will say project 23 whatever it, it doesn't mean it doesn't make a sense but who cares now here I can say I don't care when it will start I can here go and choose the fields I don't have those custom fields so be aware of that if you have project in which you define custom fields like critical deadline total cost should be approved etc etc and you save it when you create a brand new project from the scratch those fields are not going to show up why because when you define custom fields you are defining uh, defining those custom fields only for this particular project. So when you create once again your project from the scratch and you need all those custom fields for your second, third project, you should define them as well. It is annoying, but there is a way in which you can have those fields, uh, those fields uh, uh, copied, and that is uh, that is going to be shown on uh, some of my next videos. For now on, I conclude this video post uh, 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 with this: you can create custom fields which can be text type, date type, number type, yes, no type, or choice type. And if you create number type, 
you can choose do you want to uh, rolling up maximum minimum sam or average and you can always if you don't like or don't need your uh, 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 custom fields you can always delete it or edit it if you want to edit just like uh, 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 like this. Go to your field and hit on delete field. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, hope you will join me on my next video post.